There we go. Now, uh, now that I have that surface, I'm going to hide it. And I'm going to now create this one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it using point, maybe here and here and there and there. So now I have two long sides and two short sides. And I'm going to use network to generate that surface. There's all my sides. Here are my options. I click OK. And there's the surface down there. And uh, now I can bring back everything that is hidden. So there's uh, there. And as we can see, there's our last with our shoe sole on it. So let's hide the last one more time. I don't really need to work with that right now. And what I'm going to do right now is uh, put this one away. We're only going to work on this one at this moment. Uh, these curves that I have here right now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get, you know, get them out of the way. So for now, I'm going to select curves and I'm going to go ahead and delete them. So here's my shape. And the first thing I'm going to, I do, if, I, if we look at this object and we look at the control points, let's go to wireframe. We can see that I only have one row of points here, one here, and one at the edge. And uh, very scattered, you know. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rebuild this surface. So I'm going to go to the tools, surface tools, use rebuild. And instead of 200, let's do maybe 130. So, at this point, I'm going to select all the points in this row, except for the edge points. Maybe even that one we can leave out. So, starting on the second point, the third point here, I selected all the points that went all the way down to here. And then I'm going to bring out my point selection tools. So let me bring out this guy here. And I'm also going to bring out the point editing toolbar. Here we go. And the first thing I want to do is I want to select now all the points in the U direction. There we go. And now I can now I'm going to deselect some of the points which I do not want to change. So maybe these guys here. Now you have to be very patient on this uh, part here. Because uh, we're basically going to design the, the shape of our soul based on this selection now. So these guys here. Then I can leave maybe one, two, three, four points on, and then deselect that one. Leave the next four, deselect that one. And right around there. Now, this area here on the arch of the foot is not going to have any of these tracks. So maybe we can just deselect these guys. Same thing on this side. Yeah. 
Okay, so now we have a series of sections selected on the sole with a row points in between them. Now I'm going to use Move UVN. Let me bring it into screen so we can see it. And I don't know why it's so big. Let's make it, bring it back over here so we can see what's going on. And what this is going to do is uh, I can move these points now in the U direction, the V direction, or normal. And this one here, normal, is the one I'm looking for. So as I begin to slide this slider here, you can see those points are moving normal to my surface. Maybe, maybe a little bit more. Right around there. So now I'm going to close this one. There we go. And let's take these points off and let's look at this in our shaded mode. And there we go. Yeah, pretty interesting shape, huh? And maybe for one of those uh, beach uh, sandals or shoes or kind of a sport sport sandal or something like that. Okay, uh, now we have to follow through. We have to bring back uh, the surface underneath here. And we are going to rebuild it because we need more points. Uh, if we see, we don't have very few points there, so we want to do some editing also there. So we'll do uh, our rebuild. Obviously, we don't need that many now. It's got 6 and 18, so maybe instead of 6, we can make that 8. And in the 18, let's make that maybe 30. There we go, something like so. Now I'm going to select using our end objects now. I'm going to select directions both and there endpoint and over here endpoint and that pretty much highlighted all the points on the edges. Then I'm going to invert which highlights all the points on the inside leaving the edges alone and I'm going to use move UVN to bring that surface out slightly there we go and close uh, some of these toolbars so we can see and uh, next I'm going to select the areas that I want to form so maybe bringing these guys here Skip a point in between, then grab these guys. And those last three. And now we can make those come out some more. There we go. And there's the bottom of our, you know, you know, four wheel drive shoe. And uh, next thing we need to do here is we, we need to uh, surface the top over here. And actually, what I'm going, what we're going to do now is if I bring back the the last, let 
Here we go. I'm going to uh, duplicate the curve on the edge of the surface right there. And I'm going to hide and hide. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to split. I'm going to pull. I'm going to split this uh, shoe with that line. And then I can delete that. Delete this curve. There. Bring back my uh, my shoe, my last here. And over here, I might need to show my points here and get these points. And I'm going to get my selection toolbar again and get all these points that go around. And I'm going to, with UVN, make those guys grow a little bit towards the outside. There we go. As you can see, once you have the shoe last digitized in the computer, it's very easy to begin to conceptualize and explore the different shapes that you can come up with uh, using, you know, the, the Rhino surfacing tools. And that's the end.